today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite products that I like to use in the fall and things that I've been using for the past couple of years. So yeah, if you want to see some of my favorite things to use this time of year, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off with lip products, um, I have four lipsticks that I want to share with you guys. So the first two are from Bite Beauty, um, and they're the multi-sticks. So I have these shades, Cashew and Blondie, and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, so the deeper one um, right here is cashew and then the one next to it is blondie so blondie is definitely more of like a brownie nude and cashew has more purpley um, mauve undertones they're both super super pretty for the fall um cashew is a little bit more vampy and blondie is a little bit more like muted that's the one i have on my lips right now i love it when i first watched it um after like i got it in the mail i didn't like fall in love with it at first i think it's just because i didn't have like a full face of makeup um, I think you kind of need to do a full face only because depending on your complexion, this is just for me obviously, um, it kind of washed me out a little bit but then whenever I had like my foundation and bronzer and everything on it looks fine, like I really really like it. Um, so yeah, Bye Bye Beauty, I love them, they're a little bit more pricey, these are $28 or $30 I think. Um, but I mean they're multi sticks so you don't have to use them just as lipsticks, you can use them as like cream contours or blushes, whatever you want. Um, they don't have to go like just on your lips so I guess that's why they're like a little bit more expensive. But I love them, the packaging is really nice, it's kind of like a magnet to close it. They feel super super high end, I love them. Um, so yeah, so if you're looking for a new lipstick I definitely recommend these two. So the next lipstick I have to share with you guys is Miami Fever by Ofra. Um, I actually got this I think a year or two ago. I hope it's not expired. I mean, I keep using my makeup, but I mean, for all I know, this could be expired. Um, but yeah, this is one of Kathleen Light's um, collabs with Ofra. I love this. It's like a burnt orange. I'll swatch it on my arm so that you guys can see. It is so beautiful and it's so creamy and moussey. So this is Miami Fever. It's super, super pretty. It's a really nice burnt orange. Um, I think it's perfect for the fall. It dries down matte. Um, I don't think it's transfer proof, but it is matte and it looks really, really nice and it's super comfortable. So I definitely recommend the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks if you're looking for some um, and you don't want them to be super drying. Um, and then moving on to another matte lipstick. This is one by ColourPop. This is Beeper. This, I definitely think it's expired because this is my first, this was for my first ColourPop order which was I think like two or three years ago, um, but I kept it just so that I, I like I don't forget about it. So yeah, this is Beeper. Um, this one's a little bit of a deeper shade. It's kind of similar to Cashew. Um, so I'll, I'll put it next to Miami Fever so that you guys can see. Um, and then I'll also add Blondie and Cashew so that you can also see them all next to each other. Um, but yeah, going back to Beeper, this one's awesome. It is really drying, so if you're not like into that I would go for like the Ofra ones but I mean the Colourpop ones are super super affordable um, and I know they have the satin ones and they're a little bit more comfortable so I would definitely try those ones out if you don't like something that's like super drying on your lips. Alright so starting on this side um, this one is Miami Fever by Ofra, this one is Beeper by Colourpop and then we have Cashew by Bite Beauty and then Blondie by Bite Beauty. So um, Cashew and Beeper are super similar. Beeper is just a little bit more cool toned and deeper. Um, but yeah, so these are my favorite fall lip shades. I love anything vampy or like orange. I don't know. I think it's just perfect for the fall. So yeah, these are awesome lip colors um, and brands. So I definitely suggest these if you guys are looking for new lipsticks for the fall. These ones are awesome. Okay, so before moving on to um, eyeshadow palettes that I'm obsessed with, um, I'm just going to talk about this setting spray since it's the only one I have to talk about. So this is the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray, um, and it, it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. This is amazing. I love it. It keeps you super matte during the day. Um, and honestly, this is a really good price. I think it was $40, which is a lot of money for a setting spray, but this is the equivalent of buying like the four NYX uh, mattifying sprays, um, and it's the same amount. You know what I mean? Like one of the NYX ones are one ounce and then this is four ounces um, and that one was ten dollars for one ounce. So if you work it out it ends up being the same price if you were to buy four and I would obviously just keep repurchasing it. So yeah this was um, I mean it's a good price for like how much you get and it's awesome it smells amazing and the only thing is you have to make sure to shake it or you will get white dots all over your face which is super annoying but they brush away you kind of just have to go over your face with a powder brush um, but yeah definitely shake this up before you use it um, it does make your face feel the tiniest bit tight um, obviously because it's mattifying so if you have more dry skin I probably would lean more towards um, something more hydrating like their hangover primer um, or setting spray, actually I think it's a setting and a primer. But anyways, yeah, if you have more oily skin like me, I definitely recommend this one if you're in the market. 
Okay, and then for um, blush and highlight, again, before I move on to the eyeshadows, I forgot I had these in my pile. Um, this is the Sleek Makeup Blush. This is in the shade Suede. It's this super, super, super pretty, um, kind of like deep peachy color, I guess. Um, it's amazing. I think it looks so beautiful, especially if you already have like bronzer on. It just kind of like makes your face look that much warmer. I think it's super, ugh, I think it's super pretty. Um, so yeah, this one, obviously, anything orange, I'll wear in the fall. I just think it's so beautiful. So yeah, this one's awesome and it's pretty affordable. Um, and then I have the ColourPop Pressed Face Powder. I don't actually know what shade this is. Um, I will leave it on the screen if I find out. I think it's something like Boy Next Door, but it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, which is super annoying. But yeah, this one is so beautiful. It's a little bit glittery, so if you don't like that, you may not be in love with these, but I do love adding this to like my nose and my inner corners, which is what I did today. Um, and yeah, so these are really awesome. Again, ColourPop's super affordable and they always have sales and deals on and like free shipping. So yeah, I would definitely look into ColourPop if you are looking for a super affordable highlighter. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited for this. These are like my top three favorite eyeshadow palettes, I'd have to say, and they're all like perfect for the fall, which is my favorite season, obviously. So the first one I have to show with you is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. So this one, I feel like it got a lot of hate on YouTube, but it's, it's beautiful. Like you have to make sure that once you dip your brush in, you just kind of have to tap it off or you're gonna get a lot of fallout. Um, unless you just don't put your base on first and you do that after and then you can just clean it up with like a makeup sponge or something. Or not a makeup sponge, but like a makeup wipe. So yeah, this is what it looks like. These are all the colors. I think they're so pretty. They're super, super warm. There's a lot of deep shades, but I really like deep vampy looks for the fall, so I'm totally okay with that. Um, for my look today, I used a mixture of Enfuego and Ashes. So it's these two deep shades here. I put that all over my lid. And then in my crease, I have a mixture of He Devil and Sauced. So it's those two right there. I think they were so pretty. And then I also put Ounce um, in my inner corners and on my brow bone. And then I just topped it off with that ColourPop highlighter. Just because I find these ones aren't like that brightening. So yeah, I had to go in with a different product, but that's okay. I think this palette is so beautiful. I reach for it the most out of all my palettes. So yeah, I definitely recommend this one. If you're looking for more of like an expensive-ish palette. It is expensive, but like I never go through a whole eyeshadow palette. So you keep it for a super long time and they're just really good quality. And then another palette that you guys have probably seen all over YouTube that I've been loving is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, like look, look at all these warm tones. It's amazing and like the pigmentation is crazy. Um, you do have to tap off your brush and you don't need a lot obviously, but um, my favorite shades from this palette would probably be Red Ochre, Primavera, Vermeer, and Venetian Red. So it's those two golds on top of each other and then these two down here. Um, when I am going in for like a really smoky look, I like to use Red Ochre all over my lid and then put Venetian Red in my crease. And then normally for like my brow bone and my inner corner, I'll use one of these two gold shades. I think they're super, super pretty. I love this palette. Again, it's a little bit expensive, but I mean, you're paying for the quality. Okay, and then finally, my last eyeshadow palette was definitely my favorite eyeshadow palette last fall. If you guys watch my videos, I literally only use this eyeshadow palette. And I hate talking, well, no, I don't hate talking about it, but I feel like a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about Morphe. I love their brand. Um, I love their eyeshadow palettes. I have no issues with them whatsoever. But yeah, this is the Morphe 35O palette. I'm so obsessed. Like, look at all of these warm shades. It's beautiful, and they're so affordable. I think they're like $22 US. But you get 35 shades and they're amazing. So some of my favorites, um, what would I say? I love all of them, but I think I would have to say like any of these orange shades, like this one here and then this whole row. I love this one down here for uh, Christmas time. It's like this super, super bronzy with like a lot of red undertones. It is so pretty for Christmas time. So this one is awesome um, if you're transitioning from fall to winter or like Christmas time. I love it, it's amazing. I don't know why everybody hates on it. I really have never had a bad experience with Morphe, so like that's just my opinion. And I'm sure some people like just don't get along with these shadows, but I really like them. So yeah, I would definitely um, pick one up if you guys don't have a Morphe palette. Okay, so that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. That way you never miss my face in your subscription box. And yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys have any more like favorite fall products that I didn't mention or you want me to check out, leave them down below. And yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. Bye. Thunder, feel the thunder.
Lightning and the thunder, thunder, feel the thunder.